Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 57. Oof, it's been a while, so I don't remember what happened, but from the look of this, I think I remember the princess. Let's go ahead and get started. You know, I heard something from the princess. She said you have no choice but to get divorced. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 57 I summoned you here because I wish to have a word with you. Your family asked me to deliver this to you. Oh. She sent all the nobles away just for this. I wish to have a word with the Grand Duchess in private. You seem rather troubled. I am troubled as well, thanks to you. I lost my confident after all. I'm sorry to hear that. Cla I did hear what had happened what had happened. I was wondering whose idea it was to get the academy involved, but your nosy nature has caused many people dishonor, including me. I've had been honorable for the count had the Grand Duke just ex executed him. His son can't even show his face at social gatherings from now on. You've destroyed that whole house. But don't you think the punishments to those boys was rather excessive? Power truly is terrifying. Their only misstep was speaking the truth. Please do not talk about it that way. You do not know of what you speak. I don't know of what I speak? Well, I do feel sorry for Selfius, but it's not like he's without a guardian. And I find it rather odd that you're going this far for a boy you've just you only just met. Or perhaps as part of your plot to stay in the Grand Dukedom. Or is it because you empathized with him for you had the same experience? He's not like me. My, how doting you are. But anyone can hear and speak of such rumors. Don't tell me you're going to step in every time it happens. That will, will only make your selfies more miserable. After all, it's true that he's abandoned and motherless. Has Selfie ever seen his parents' portraits? Oh, uh, I forgot. Has Selfie ever seen his parents' portraits? Oh, uh, he was curious about them. But when he found out his mother left the residence, he never asked about them again. Motherless. My husband took him in as his son. Uh, then are you saying that you will be his mother? Yes. After all, why not? Well, I beg to differ. I wonder how long that will last. Because you will end up leaving the Grand Dukedom whether you like it or not. I'm telling you this for your sake. Don't get too attached to that family. Thank you, but I know what is best for me, Your Highness. Well. Selfie. When did you get here? I came too early, didn't I? I thought it would be better to come earlier than later. Shall we get up then? I'll get- I bet the Grand Duke has arrived as well. Your Grace? Are you... 
going to be my mother? Uh, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overreach and covet, covet such a position. No, that's not what I meant. Actually, it made me happy. I know it's too much to ask, but still, can I call you mother, at least while you're a part of our family? Why did you keep... did we keep you waiting? No, I only just arrived. Um. I would like to take the carriage alone, if you don't mind. The two of you should take another carriage together. Huh? I'll see you back at home. Mother? Oh. Oh? Mother? I can explain. I couldn't go back on my word, and that's how it happened. If it's all right with you, you must be conflicted. I'm relieved he has a lot to keep him occupied, at least. And why did I bring this with me? Oh. What is this? They sent this to me? Uh, what's that letter? Uh, it's from the fourth princess. My family must have asked her to deliver it to me. I'll take care of it when we get back. The princess herself. May I take a look? What is a bunch of scribbles? Is it a hex? It looks kind of weird and creepy at the same time. Alright, guys. Okay, so... Uh... Him hearing, you know, Parashati saying that really, it really made me really like, it tugged my heart. I was like, oh, mom. Sorry, guys, my baby's gonna be fussy. Let me pick him up. Um, it just really made me like, oh, being a mom now, like, I'm a first time mom and, you know, taking care of this little nugget here, like, I, could never abandon this child but if something happened to me where i cannot be physically here with him and he finds someone like if my husband found someone new and that person treats you know my baby well where my baby's like i would love to call you my mom i i wouldn't feel offended but if anything like i will feel like okay he feels safe and it just tug on my heartstring like to be someone's mom is such a gift, you know, to for a child to see you as their parent, you know? It's very loving. It's such a it's such a great feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but you know, I used to be someone's like stepmom and they loved and adored me and it means so much to me, but it was really hard to love that child and having to say goodbye to that relationship because it was just so unhealthy. Um, because the father was just so absent and he chose fun over his own kids and I just could not see myself be with a man like that. So I, I had to say, you know, I'm not going to stay for this kid, even though I was sticking it out for this kid. I had to choose me, you know, I don't want to procreate with this man either. So packed my bags and left or packed whatever I could sneak out and left but yeah being being someone's parent is such a gift it's, it's such a wonderful feeling all right guys um my baby's getting fussy so I gotta head on out all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and I'll catch you guys next time bye